So for the past several months, we've been in University Parkway, trying to get it out, uh, trying to get everything done there before school starts back. And we're more or less on schedule. We're going to be probably it, next week. We'll probably open up lanes on going in the right on, in the right space where they're supposed to be. Except that we're going to have to close down one lane, like on the southbound lane. We're going to, on the west side. We're going to have to push the traffic over so it'll be down to one lane while we finish up some last-minute items over there. Same thing on this side as well, that we'll, we'll be able to finish up the stuff on the side, add the sidewalks and uh, several other things that we have to kind of get, last minute items we have to get done. So, so there's, a, there's a box culvert out there that's um, four foot deep. Well, it's really, when you count the thickness of the concrete, it's probably six foot deep. So we had to get sewer underneath that. The water can't go above because it's too close to the surface. And so the water had to go below that as well. So that's why we had that big trench. We had actually cut that box to get those utilities across there because we had to deal with rock underneath that existing box culvert. So then we had to replace that box culvert. So that's, that was the, the bulk of the work we had to get done out here was to get those utilities across. There's a median now from State of Franklin down to past Maple so that people that are heading south on University will not be able to turn left into Walnut and then people exiting from Walnut will have to turn right. The signal is gone and so th th what, what was going on there at, at the signal at Walnut previously was that because of the multi lanes of traffic somebody wanting to turn into Walnut coming off of University a car coming down didn't see them and so there were lots of accidents. And so we've already seen an improvement in the accident rate even with the construction. You, the two le there are two left turn lanes to go north on University that will turn into uh, State of Franklin towards the University. And so those, um, those two left turn lanes are extended further down so you have more stacking in those lanes so that again, people that are going straight or turning right won't be, st or, or vice versa, they won't be stuck because of the others aren't moving. And then the signal at Walnut was hampering that as well. It just, it was not a, it was not a great system. And so this will improve the flow. It'll improve safety. I know it'll be, un it'll be, people will have to learn new ways around. Like, like to get, if you're coming south on, um, or I'm sorry, or east on State of Franklin, you'll need to go down to Cherokee, which is the new road we've installed down there, make that loop and get right in here. So that's, that's going to be, it, it, while it's different, people will still be able to get in and out. There'll be ways to do that. So the remainder of the work to be done, I think they're working on, uh, they're working on some sewer right now and sewer laterals that, that need to be added. The sewer line's all done. They'll get these laterals in place and then the sewer will be complete. And you know, it's maybe the end of this week, first of next week. And then there remains about 700 feet of 12 inch water main. Uh, that has to be installed really kind of between, between here and about where you see the excavator down there. So there's, there's that length of, of water line that has to be installed. There is a, um, 18 inch main on Cherokee that has to be plugged. It's part of the, the re, reworking of the water system. And then the util, that part of the utilities will be done. They'll work on, on the electrical duct bank and the communication lines that will come down from basically the pawn shop down to university. And so once they, so they'll be starting on that. They've already done some of that as soon as that, that starts to progress, then they'll be installing curb and gutter from about where they left off at Simple Smiles. They'll start pushing that down and they'll start putting in the, um, coming back with asphalt sidewalk. And so I, again, our anticipation, at which we really feel like we're gonna make it, is to, to have this thing substantially complete by Thanksgiving. The city 
those of us that have worked on it, the contractor, we all want to see this thing come to a good close where we're, we get a nice product for the city and, the, and the, the citizens can just enjoy a nice place to walk and hang out.